In this paper, we want to present some preliminary conceptual and methodological considerations from an ongoing interdisciplinary project that aims to open up and explore social technical futures for living materials. This was made possible by generous funding from the Durham University uh, Institute of Advanced Study and the Royal Society Apex Award Scheme. Living materials are said to be a new generation of technologies that respond to environmental cues, are able to remodel, self-organize and self-heal. Defined as any composite material that has a biologically derived component and a synthetic component, living materials are attractive because they have minimal energy demands and are seen to be highly cost effective. Thus, they promise to solve industrial, environmental and health problems by rationally designing the interface between engineered biological and synthetic components. From an STS perspective, however, this vision of the future of living materials is heavily reliant on the linear model of innovation and what Felt and colleagues in 2007 labelled the regime of economic promises. In our material imagination pro project, we have started to explore the possibility of shifting the emphasis from an engineering and rational design of living components um, perspective to a more ecological and evolutionary approach. Inspired by the work in the lab by our colleague Lucas Le Nagar, who is studying the drivers of unexpected emergent cooperative behavior of consortia of bacteria encapsulated in lipid vessels, and drawing on biological work on directed evolution and more than human approaches in the social sciences and humanities, we conceive of material ecosystems as interacting composites of an ensemble of living cells and artificial or natural scaffolds that are in close and evolving relationship with their environment and users. This vision, we think, is more aligned with what Felt and colleagues after Latour called the regime of collective experimentation. Applying the concept of collective experimentation to our project means that the central question is not so much how to design organism synthetic interfaces and markets to solve preformatted problems, but we argue how to pragmatically and responsibly engage with a more than human mode of collective existence in developing new living materials. Our point of departure is that this form of extended collaboration should not only aim to blur expertise lines, but also enable the active participation of biological actors, such as bacterial consortia or plants, such as in the picture, in shifting the direction of the experiment and shaping the future of living materials. At the moment, we envisage two complementary sets of activities to bring this vision to bear. On the one hand, the development of simple synthetic ecologies that can be deployed and experimented with in environments such as the home or the workplace. We are interested in setting up and tracing the co-evolution of the material, its environment and its practices over time as a, a form of local synthetic ecology. This closed and sustained interaction uh, of human stakeholders with living materials should generate knowledge of what it is to live and care for living materials. But also, by investigating the possibilities of, of in situ material growth, um, we are also attempting to open up the imagination to alternative economic models and modes of valuation. We aim to capture this collective experience through tools such as et autoethnographic accounts or more directed data collection techniques such as cultural probes or an adapted form of it which are, we are provisionally calling bacterial probe. On the other hand, we are using concepts and techniques from participatory design and speculative design to develop collaborative ways to imagine social technical futures for synthetic ecologies. Drawing on work on speculative civics and speculative enactments, we are designing activities that can tap into existing expert and experiential knowledge of living with organisms and prompt speculative future making. Using prompts and other material probes, we aim to provide the means by which imaginaries can be generated and made manifest through doing. Participatory speculation, as we call it, should not only generate these alternative futures, but also help shape living material research. Thank you for listening.